Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss about plasma wave. Plasma wave. So we know that plasma contains positive and negatively charged particles and these particles oscillates. So we will discuss the plasma oscillation in the next video in details. Plasma oscillation. and plasma frequency in the next video okay now here you see as these particles surge particles oscillates and this oscillation can be written in the form of a wave equation that is n is equal to n naught e to the power i within bracket k x minus omega t okay here n is the number density of plus particles number density of particles and n naught here is a constant represents amplitude of the wave and k is propagation constant propagation constant given by 2 pi by lambda where lambda is wavelength we know that and omega is here angle of frequency which is equal to 2 pi f where f is the frequency So now, here you see this graph, uh, if you write in 3D this equation in 3D then you have to write in this way and k sorry not k r and t, t means time here, n is a function of space and time. So, instead of n we can write n of r t. So, n naught e to the power i k dot r minus omega t. So, here so in 3D k dot r is represented as k x x k plus k y y k plus k z z k. So, when the wave is traveling along x direction then we will consider sorry then we will consider this equation so along with the particles there will be change in uh, electric field as well uh, the, uh, along with the oscillating particles so electric field will also oscillate so corresponding equation we can write as this one e e naught e to the power i k x minus omega t omega t so we know e to the power i theta is equal to cos uh, sorry yes uh, cos theta plus i sin theta so that is why this equation also can be written in this way E is equal to E naught plus cos k x minus omega t plus i sin of k x minus omega t. Okay. So here you see we will in this case so particles are physically exist uh, so that is why we will consider the real part this is real part and this is the imaginary now you see this represents this term within the bracket represents phase of the wave so that's why and you know phase of the wave is constant so it doesn't vary with time that's why 
time derivative of this phase k x minus omega t must be equal to 0. So, uh, here one more thing you can mention here before you this. So, let me write k x minus omega t is equal to constant you can write. So, time derivative must be equal to 0 and here after the differentiation with respect to time we will get this expression sorry not this one dx by dt minus omega is equal to 0 and this implies dx by dt is equal to omega by k and this is nothing but phase velocity v let me write v p this is what phase velocity this is called phase velocity ok now we are going to find the group velocity so in order to find a group velocity we have to consider a situation of superposition of two waves or more than two we can say but we are going to consider only two waves suppose uh, let us consider the situation superposition of two waves suppose one wave is e1 that is equal to e naught exponential or e to the power you can write e to the power i k plus del k into x minus omega plus del omega t another wave is e2 where e naught uh, which is equal to e naught e to the power i k minus del k x minus omega minus del omega t so these are two waves we have taken now if you consider their uh, if you see their propagation constant they are differed by if you find the difference k plus del k minus k minus del k if you find the difference here then what you will get here yeah, minus k plus by k on we will get the difference is this one and similarly difference of uh, this two the frequencies here we will get 2 del omega ok so here we can write there is a difference in propagation constant and 2 del omega is the difference in frequency difference in frequencies ok so now so when two waves superpose so we get uh, such kind of resultant waves sorry uh, okay so here you see the velocity of this packet the velocity of so that uh, it uh, it consists of two waves these two waves so this is the resultant of superposition of two waves u1 plus e2 okay and each of them has a phase velocity and this you know this packet of this uh, resultant wave 
velocity of this group this is uh, nothing but group of a group of two waves these two waves u1 and e2 so its velocity is the group velocity okay so now for simplicity let me assume that uh, a is equal to k x minus omega t and b is equal to del k x minus del omega t so del omega t so now you see this part within bracket you can express this in this way yeah. uh, if you remove the brackets you can express these terms in this way k minus omega sorry k x minus omega t plus del k x del k x minus del omega t is not it. So, here this part is a and this part is b. So, we can express the uh, above two equations in this way e 1 is equal to e naught e to the power i here we can write a plus b and this equation here you can see this can be expressed in this form k minus sorry k x minus omega t minus del k minus omega t del k x minus omega t. So, this is nothing but a this is minus b ok. So, here so next equation will be e 2 is equal to e naught i to the power a minus b ok. Now, if uh, here you see if we take uh, the real parts of these two equations only taking the real parts. Only then what we will get. So, here it will be e 1 e naught cos a plus b because this term is nothing but it is equal to uh, suppose oh, as we know that e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and this is the real part. So, same thing is applied here. So, and we are taking the real parts only. So, e 2 will be e naught cos a minus b. Now, resultant e that is equal to e 1 plus e 2 that is going to be. So, e naught cos a plus b plus e naught cos of a minus b. So, here e naught will be common and within bracket we will get cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b and here we are going to apply this formula cos c plus cos d formula that is given by 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. If you apply this formula trigonometric formula here then you will get e naught 2 cos if you add these two a plus b and a minus b if you add a plus b and a minus b then minus b plus b gone we have a plus a twice a and uh, here we have to write uh, c plus d by 2 is not it. So, a plus b plus a minus b by 2 if you divide it by 2 then 2 2 will be cancelled. So, here we will get only a. Similarly, if you find uh, 
a plus b minus a minus b then you will get min uh, twice b here if you divide it by 2 then you will get b only so here we will get b okay so now this can be written as 2 epsilon naught cos a cos b okay now replace a and b by this values uh, of a and b this values of a and b okay then what we will get then you will get 2 epsilon naught cos a means k x minus omega t and cos b means del k x minus del omega t okay now if you observe this part this represents a single equation single wave okay we as we have got e is equal to e naught cos k x minus omega t this represents uh, this represents single wave isn't it so when we are going to find the group velocity so this uh, superposition occurs uh, due to this difference here so that's why we are going to consider this part to calculate the group velocity here okay so now as uh, or you can say since phase is constant so therefore time derivative of this phase must be equal to 0 del k x minus del omega t this must be equal to 0 and from here you will get del k dx by dt minus del omega is equal to 0 okay and it implies it implies del x sorry dx by dt is equal to del omega by del k and this is called group velocity v suffix z del omega by del k this is called group velocity so hope uh, this point uh, these things are clear to you and hope you have understood all the things we have discussed till now and if you have understood then please share my videos with your friends and subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel thank you for watching